The 2006 Koholo Bay earthquake occurred on October 15 at 7 hours 7 minutes and 49 seconds local time with a moment magnitude of 6.7 and a maximum Mercalli intensity of 8 severe. The shock was centered 21 kilometers 13 miles southwest of Puako and 21 kilometers 13 miles north of Kailua Kona, Hawaii, just offshore of the Kona Airport at a depth of 29 kilometers 18 miles. It produced several aftershocks, including one that measured a magnitude of 6.17 minutes after the main shock. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center measured a small, non-destructive tsunami of 4 in 100 mm on the coast of the Big Island. Earthquake <inaudible> 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 Modified Mercalli intensities were VII8 very strong severe on the western side of the island of Hawaii and VI strong on the eastern side of Maui. Intensity V moderate shaking was felt all the way to Oahu where patches of moderate damage were reported. The earthquake caused property damage, injuries, landslides, power outages and airport delays and closures. Governor Linda Lingle issued a disaster declaration for the entire state. Topic. Damage The most severe damage caused by the earthquake was focused on the north and western sides of the island of Hawaii. Damage was also quite heavy on the eastern side of Maui, and minor damage spread all the way out to western Oahu, 170 miles 270 kilometers away from the earthquake's epicenter. On the Big Island, many houses had large cracks and broken windows, and at least 61 buildings were destroyed and red-tagged by officials. Almost all houses in West Hawaii reported extensive internal damage but most avoided significant structural damage, the reason being that most of the buildings in the area around the epicenter of the earthquake have been built in the last few decades and are well constructed. Even so, over $200 million in damage occurred. The largest and most luxurious hotels on the island of Hawaii also happened to be clustered within 10 miles 16 kilometers of the earthquake's epicenter along the Kohala coast. The 1965 Mauna Kea Beach Hotel had its entire south end collapse, and the hotel's top floor was considered destroyed. The hotel closed December 1 after a month-long inspection revealed that the building was unsafe and in danger of collapse. After a $150 million renovation, the hotel had a soft reopening on December 20, 2008, and officially reopened in March 2009. The Hapuna Beach Prince Hotel was temporarily evacuated after the earthquake due to structural damage, broken glass and flooding caused by broken water pipes. The Surety Kohala Corporation assessed the structural integrity to their Kohala ditch, which functioned as a tourist attraction for 10 years. Many roads and bridges collapsed or had deep cracks, and cleanup crews had to work for days to remove debris from the countless landslides. Many landmarks on the island were greatly affected. The Kalahikiola Congregational Church in Kohala was destroyed due to the collapse of the church's stone walls. The Hawi smokestack, a relic of the old sugarcane trade, completely collapsed as well. The Hulahe Palace in Kailua Kona suffered extensive structural damage. Another popular tourist area, Kilekakua Bay, home of the White Monument to Captain James Cook, was swept over by massive landslides that caused the entire bay and its surrounding areas to momentarily disappear in a thick cloud of brown dust. <laughs> Mauna Kea Observatory During the earthquake and aftershocks, a number of the telescopes at the Mauna Kea observatories sustained minor damage, primarily Keck's 1 and 2 at the WM Keck Observatory, and the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope CFHT. The CFHT was operational and back online as of October 19, but the Kecks were not restored to full operation until February 28, 2007. Blackouts 
Power plants on Maui and the Big Island automatically shut off power to prevent damage, and generators tripped on Oahu, causing overloads in the electrical grid. The Oahu power outages lasted 14 hours in some locations. Only half of Hawaiian Electric Company's HECO Oahu customers had power restored before 9 p.m., while outages generally lasted to about 5 p.m. on Maui and Hawaii. Power was restored to all HECO circuits by 1.55 a.m., however, there were isolated blackouts due to local problems, such as blown fuses. Power in Leh and Kahaku was not restored until 3 a.m. In Honolulu and Kare, HECO generators shut down, and other generators tried to compensate, resulting in uneven loads on Oahu's electrical network and causing the system to shut down to prevent damage. Topic Images Topic See also List of earthquakes in two thousand and six List of earthquakes in Hawaii List of earthquakes in the United States List of twenty first century earthquakes Koholo Bay